All right, if you can introduce yourself and your character for the camera. I'm Cassie Steele, and I play Abby Vargas. <laughs> so Abby, <laughs> we see the series through Abby's eyes. We relate to her. She's our hero, and it's from what it appears from what I've seen so far. How does that feel for you as an actress coming into such a big role like that? Well, it feels like a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't know Abby was kind of the heroine. I think that. I don't know. I think all the characters. I think all the characters are. I mean, they're just going through different things, and I guess maybe, maybe people, you know, are relating with Abby right now. It's kind of different. Uh, I mean, if you've never been in the industry, I guess what you would relate with is someone trying to break. If you are in the industry, then you'll probably relate with a lot more with Raquel or Connor. It does have a lot of fascinating intertwined stories. Each of these characters has a very different path and they're trying so hard and we're rooting for them every step of the way but they have all these little flaws of their own. It's tripping them up as they try to succeed. Um, how does it you as an actor portraying that kind of role? Does that feel frustrating for you or are you really comfortable with that? Um, sorry, could you, sorry, could you? Well, it seems like again the characters are tripping up over themselves. Is, is an actress yourself, does that feel frustrating to portray? Uh, I don't think so. I think the scripts are so great that they kind of made it really easy. Uh, it's, I think it kind of, that anxiety I do have about making, I think it works with the role and I think we all kind of, we all know the characters as someone personal in our lives so I think that's what made it easy too. Um, I think overall I was able to relate with most of the characters and them and each person that I work with relate as well so things were really fun on the set. <laughs> it was kind of just experimenting. Well, the other thing we see right away is Abby is willing to put her heart on the line. She's willing to just go there and embrace life fully. It's not just taking mm -hmm. chances with her career or her singing. She's willing to say, I want to take a chance on love as well. Yeah, that's pretty exciting, actually. I mean, yeah. that's kind of one of the heartbeats we kind of feel, at least for the initially, is we want to cheer for her not just to succeed in her goals, but in her personal life as well. Yeah, um, I think that... You know, I never really thought of, I know she has to make some choices with um, the two boys, <laughs> um, both really good looking and, and very, very different in every way, uh, but I never really thought that was Abby's focus. Maybe, you know, as a girl watching, I guess it is, because they're really cute boys, <laughs> but Abby, I think, is more influenced by her career, and it's, it runs her life. You know, she's not really focused on whether somebody's calling or whether it's her agent calling, you know what I mean? I just think, yes, she cares, but she cares more about her life and her future and her job. The singing aspect is so beautiful. Is that you singing? <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, that's me singing. <laughs> that's fabulous. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Were you nervous about any of that? Um, no. I've worked with Epitome for a really long time, probably on three different... This is my third project with them, so I've, I've been singing on each one, I believe, yeah, so it's been really, really fun and comfortable and, I don't know, it's a different side of the character. Do you feel like you're playing multiple characters at times when you pick up a different script and what Abby's doing is different so much from scene to scene? <laughs> yes, sometimes I do, um, but we all wear masks. Uh, Abby, Abby singing, I mean, you never really hear about her singing ever, um, except when she does, so that was kind of, but I relate with that because when, you, when you're focused on something, she's obviously really focused on acting right now, you have to be fully into it or you're not going to make it, you know, and, but every, I don't, I don't know, do you feel the same from, from last year? I mean, exactly, are you the same person when you were doing a different job? Nobody is, and I think, you know, every job influences you in a different way. Yeah. Are you excited as, like, kind of a fan when you watch the rest of the show that aren't scenes that you're in? You get to see what everybody else has been up to in their story. Uh, definitely. I mean, we all have table reads, so it's nice to, uh, 
see what's going on, all the juice. Um, there are a lot of different storylines. I think Abby's is really, uh, it's pretty, you know, just like with her love triangle and with everything. So like there are a relationships that you don't hear about a lot, and I think those are really, really interesting and probably really, really fun to play because it's it's something that you have to recreate and make it your own. So I really love watching everybody do that, and everybody's just so amazing on set. I've, I've learned so much. I'm the youngest, so it's nice to have people to look up to. <laughs> Are you at all surprised, because I know you read the scripts, but when you actually see something on screen, does it kind of surprise you more than you might have anticipated? Um, not, uh, gosh. Um, not really. I mean, I think that maybe watching people do their work because Cordy is, is surprising and every scene is written for you, but you make it your own and it can just go in so many different directions. I think watching, that's why we love movies, I guess. <laughs> and, you know, we have, we're biased towards some actors because of their choices that they make on screen. Abby's journey, it seems like, again, it starts out so tenacious, and then she seems to lose her way just a little bit towards the middle. Does she get back on focus? Does she just start to reprioritize again? Uh, Abby does get back on focus. I think there's just things that are affecting her in the beginning that are just really, really hard, and but with the help of Nick and other characters, she gets back on track, and tries even harder, <laughs> as you have to do, or else you die. No, I'm just she couldn't have part. <laughs> um, Besides, when she had like a few days. <laughs> she does, well, I can say that uh, she does get a place to live, which is not her car. <laughs> so um, it's either a box or an apartment. <laughs> Yeah, we were a little worried. She's starting to look a little transient. We're like, uh, she needs a place of her own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there's just a bowl of water in the back of my car for showers and God knows what. <laughs> you, you said yourself you're a very young actor and this is starting to break into it. Does it feel like any of these things that are being depicted on the show are a little too close to home, something too close to that you've had to experience just in your own life? Oh gosh, I don't, I don't think anything hits too close to home as an actor. I think. You know, if anything, it's probably really great. <laughs> you know, you hear the stories of those actors that are like, yeah, I was playing a heroin addict, so I just uh, went into that for a bit. <laughs> Definitely with Abby, I, I can relate a lot, and being from Canada and knowing a lot of friends that go down for pilot season, it's, it was it hit close to home and it was a good thing. <laughs> so uh, all that anxiousness is me actually being anxious on set. Do you ever get an opportunity to go to the writers and say, hey, where are we going with this girl? <laughs> um, not really. No. I mean, at the, at the table, you're so focused on the script that you have now because you're working. You're not like, this is fine, but where are we going next? You're like, okay, no, this is my job. I have to do this. When we're finished, then by then you'd probably get the script. <laughs> well, it must be pretty exciting for you as a person. You've done these, what, six or seven episodes, you've got 13 more in order. How does that feel for you, knowing that you're going to take off so rapidly? <laughs> oh, gosh, it feels, it's really exciting, number one. I didn't know what was going to happen with it. I knew that I really loved it, and I'm a really big fan, but I'm also honest. Uh, like, I'm on it, so I'm biased. <laughs> I think it's the best show ever. <laughs> um, I'm really glad to hear that people like it and that we have 13 more. The characters are just so interesting and we also have a few new characters coming in and they're always changing the situation at the different points of their life so it's going to be really exciting and really sexy. <laughs> Lots of sex everywhere. <laughs> sex sells on TV? <laughs> it does, it does. And in real life, sex sells. The illegally. The outfits that Abby wears. Hey, sex sells, but wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever look at the costume designer and go, I'm wearing what? <laughs> no, I don't because it's not their fault. That's just their job. <laughs> like, look what you did. No, um, you know, it's the role and at first it was really nerve wracking. Uh, even though, you know, some of my characters in the past that I've played are very, you know, grassy. Um, this is definitely different because I was exposing more skin. Um, 
and the first day that I was filming I actually had to be in a bra and band -aid. and it was a rain cover so we were supposed to be doing something else and I just was so nervous. Oh my gosh, I, I can't even... And then I had to do like this sort of like lap dance and I was like... I was so nervous, like I couldn't move properly, and it turned into some type of like Macarena hip movement. Um, but I guess I guess it worked because they used it, or that was, or it didn't work, and That's that was great. the best take out of all of them. <laughs> we love those; those were fun. Yeah, <laughs> but I can see it can be a little uncomfortable at times. <laughs> yeah, a little bit uncomfortable. You're like, but wear sweats and t-shirts. <laughs> well, in the end, it it turned out to be fun because obviously it's a closed set and. Yeah. And then you get to work as you, as the character and with the same crew, so it became fun. Do you, have, do you work now with the wardrobe a little bit more closely to say, okay, I'm comfortable with, with these options? Well, I don't, I think for like the bra and panty scene, you can't, you know, it's just going to be different colors in wardrobe, that's how it's written, you know what I mean? I think you do have what you like and what you don't like, like, you know, I'm definitely only going to wear, I'm not going to wear lace panties or something, <laughs> but it's written in there, it's not like wardrobe really has a say to what you wear, you just have different options of, of brown panties. <laughs> when you had to do the scene in the pilot where you're doing your singing audition and they, of course, you're feeling a little queasy. Were you feeling mortified to actually have to enact a scene like that? Or were you okay with this? Oh gosh, no. I think like the crazier the scene, sort of the easier it is. Um, it's easy to kind of imagine or to act out these extreme things that happen to you. I think it's it's worse. Uh, well, it's hardest for me to just kind of be in just like a conversation with someone where it's you kind of have to just like make up your character's mannerisms or try and act as natural as possible what's natural to everybody else you know i'm gonna everybody's gonna scream if a bus is coming towards them but like what would you do if you know it's something irks your character and you're just supposed to keep it it's it's harder that way i think that's the most challenging thing for me so the over the top scenes are easier but the ones we have to develop those small mannerisms like does she hold her hands this way does she sit this yeah, way yeah because there's a, i mean we're different people i mean what if you i don't like the word panties but i'm not gonna go <gasps> i mean it's just um uh, yeah it's just a character by character basis what do you hope the audience here will see in abby that they'll latch on to and identify with and appreciate um, I think Abby is really relatable, at least for me, because she's only thinking about her, f I'm 22, so it's something I really want, you really want to solidify everything and, and, and really make it work, because, I mean, personally, I don't want to work when I'm 40. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, of course I do, but with entertainment especially, you never know what steps that you have to go through to get there. You only know your goal. And Abby is very, very headstrong. I think she's a really big inspiration because she does keep getting knocked down, you know? And we always think she's gonna get something and she doesn't. And I think that's like that's like life, but it's just how you take it. And that's kind of her battle is being optimistic or, you know, being really downtrodden about everything. Admire her tenacity in life. Exactly, um, yeah. exactly. And what do you think the audience is going to just love when they get a chance to watch your show, LA Complex? I think they're really just going to love people in in the industry being human because, I mean, it's not glamorous to us. It really is not. And, you know, we still feel the same things. It might be slightly different situations, but they're real. And we get, you know, sad and we have so much pressure, as everybody does in, in every single job. So I think that's what's really going to pull everybody in. Great. I appreciate your time today. Oh, yeah, no worries. <laughs>